So let's look how to change colors on HMI and TIA portals. The first thing I'm going to set up is just a little bit of logic that I can have to be able to have something change colors. So we'll just do a simple um, start stop function here. And we'll have this go to a pump. With a green indicator light, and then we'll also make a pump turn on. make sure this is in the PLC that this works and then we'll go and be able to to animate it okay so the download worked so again the logic's not really what we're after here just a, a button starts it and then another button stops it what we're really after is is how can we get this into the uh, HMI and get it to get it to change colors to indicate a pump is running so a couple different um, Factories, manufacturers, plants will have different colored schemes. Um, one the ISA really likes to show is, is gray, meaning off and good, because we want to only have colors when something changes. Other factories will have red, meaning off, green, meaning on. Um, so it depends on what, what particular application you're looking for. But here we have just something as simple as a, a, a tank and some pumps. And if we go into the uh, WinCC graphics folder uh, under equipment and automation, we can see that we have uh, all these pumps, and they're all the same, except they have different colors. Okay, so if I have a gray one there, just static all the time, <clears throat> right here, no animations, no properties uh, configured, just stick it, just stick it in there. And then what I can do is I can take this green one, okay, put it on my screen. I'm going to make it the same size. So the gray one's 72 by 65. So I'll make the green one the same size. And I'll drag and drop it right on top of my gray pump. Okay. This one's the one I'm going to animate. Okay. So I'm going to animate it. Right. I'm only going to make it visible while the pump is running. Okay. So I go in and find my PLC tag that I just made. That would be for my pump. So only when this is on. So from a 1 to a 1, do I want this green pump to actually be visible. Okay, so we'll do this. And we'll put this onto the HMI. Okay, so it downloaded and then we can check it out. So we have a screen, notice the gray pumps there all the time. And then that green pump shows up whenever um, the pump in the PLC is running. Okay, that's what it's looking for. And so the, the pump turns green. Um, it looks like it turns green, really. It's just a green pump that gets overlaid on top of the gray one. And so we could do the same thing if we wanted to with a red. Um, some companies will, will, will do this. They'll have a red pump uh, all the time. We can do that. Again, that one's going to be all the time. So we just want to make it the same size. 72 by 65. that into place and then the green one over top of it so when we do it this way since we added the red one after we'll need to make sure we take this red one <clears throat> and we either put it on a different layer or we uh, keep it on the same layer and just make sure we send it all the way to the back because when the green one shows up we want to make sure that it's that it's there on top
And we can do the same thing if we want to make a, the pipes change colors. Um, TIA portal allows us to have different colors of different pipes. We can make that happen. Um, there's a lot of things that we can do um, with this. We just take something that's one color and overlay it on top of something that's another color. And then that gets us to, uh, to essentially change colors um, in the graphics. And so here we have it. It's red when it's not running. Stopped and then green when it's when it's on. Other places will have red indicates a fault. Okay, and that's something that we can do as well. Um, a lot of plants will have gray means off and everything's good, and then green uh, is on and everything's good, and then red might only appear. You might put, you might put gray at the bottom, and then then green, and then red only appear when there's a fault or something, you just have to figure out what your fault fit is and tie it to that to only appear when your fault fit is true or active. 